Welcome, I'm Anthony Hudson, and what a match we have today between the Giants and the Dockers. Coming to you live from Giant Stadium. Looks like the fans have opted for the lounge chair for this encounter. Gary Lyon joins me for this match. Welcome, Gaz. Hey, Hutto. Today should be a great match. Well, today it's GWS Giants versus Fremantle. confidence they're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it the banners look great as the players get set to run through them Fremantle defense has a big job today if they can stop the opposition forwards from getting a few chances early it goes a long way to winning this game full confidence they're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it i'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today of course Hunter. the captains converge for the toss of the coin Fremantle kicking to the left of screen. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. We're just moments away from the opening bounce. And here's the bounce to begin the game. Jacob's got a fist to it. Five clean from the half volley. Lloyd couldn't stick the tackle. Doesn't hold onto the mark. Whitfield hacking it out of there. Drops the ball. Finding the ball was core. Moves it by foot. A mark by Green. A chance to put one through for his side. 65 metres out. Move it on. Can he put it through? Drops the ball. Manages to get a hand away. Clear free kick. Reed going for number one. Looking to bring it back into play. Hamlin plays it to himself. Goes by foot. Picked up by Blakely. Just gets a hand in. The loose ball scooped up. Bike uses it by foot. Hill did well to win that ball. A low stabbing kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Cornelio not wasting time. Elects to play on. Nice hands. 30 metres from home. Going for goal number one. De Boer delivers with a straight drop punt. Look at them celebrate that effort. He's kicked the first goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. The game is back underway. Guides it down. Clean from the half volley. Hopper unable to lay the tackle. Collected by Matera. Rides out the tackle. Picks up the loose ball. Lobs the handball. He's got the footy in his hands. Snaffled up by Jacobs. DeBoer with a chance on the turnover. Finding the loose ball was Green. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Gets some reward for his efforts. GWS Giants have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The lead is now 13. He did really well there and gets the reward. 
that goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Umpire ready to resume play. Wins the ruck duel. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Takes a nice mark. He drives it. Just put it on the boot. An easy grab for Collier. GWS Giants haven't been in control. They've given up way too many uncontested marks and are letting the opposition set the pace. Mundy goes with the kick. Intercepts the ball well. Taranto going for distance with the kick. Packing it out of there. War drops the mark. Jacobs just put it on the boot. A chance to reload the attack now. Uses it by foot. Lloyd grabs that one. Looks up with a kick. Cameron uses the body well. 60 metres out. Move it on. He likes his chances from here. Marks now and can send it back. Hamling puts it on the boot. Conker takes the mark. Decides to kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. 45 metres out. Move it on. DeBoer heads for home. No luck for him there. It's a behind. The Giants' lead is now 14. Hamling decides to go to himself. Goes for a run. Goes by foot. A chance to gather the ball. Collects the loose ball. Cornelia gets reward for effort with that kick. He puts through his first goal. That pushes the lead further out. Look at them celebrate that effort. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. We're back in motion. GWS Giants trail in the clearance numbers, but it's not a big issue for them because of their defence. The ball ends up going to ground. Hughes gets the loose ball. Up for grabs for Banfield. Goes with the kick. Gets into a good position to take that. Decides to go. Takes the mark. Lining up for goal. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Did it carry? I think it's a goal. Congratulated by his teammates. The Dockers on the scoreboard now. We're back in the middle to resume play. Punches are clear. He has the ball. Mundy squeezed the handball through. Walters was taken high in the tackle. Looks up with a kick. Kicks hurriedly. Open opportunity for Collier. Dishes it off to a player on the run. The mark is taken by Kelly. Chose to kick it. Marked by Taranto. Puts boot to ball. Reed takes a strong mark. 45 metres out. GWS Giants are happy about that one. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. They are really celebrating hard. Plenty to analyse from the first quarter, Gaz. The Giants should be pleased with how they've started. If they can build on that quarter, they'll be hard to stop. What do you make of it all, Gaz? 
GWS Giants have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Players ready to start the second quarter. Back in the middle now. Jacobs with the hit. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Clears the congestion. And the mark will be paid. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. Move it on. Cameron going for number one. Unbelievable. And they put it through. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. GWS Giants have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The margin is 26. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Fremantle have had a stack of uncontested marks, but it's not working for them at the moment. They might need to change how they move the ball to increase their scoring. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Kelly wins the foot race. Hamling there to mop up. Gets the handball away. Just gets it onto the boot. Hill has a great set of hands. GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. The ball spells to Matera. Breaks through the tackle. Slams it on the boot. Ward picks up the loose ball. Ball up in the centre square. Punched away. Conquer with a clean collect. Green collects it. Sinks the slipper into it. It's a turnover. Winning the ball in the air was Green. He heads for home. No issues with that drop punt. He's got a couple now. Starting to get into this game. This kick puts them further into the lead. He's enjoying that goal. Darcy gets onto the ball. Taken by Green. Pushes through with power. The ball mopped up. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hutter. His first possession. He gets above the crowd. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. A clean pickup. Cornelio, hurried kick. Reed wins the foot race. What a kick, and he puts it through. His teammates rush over. GWS Giants have four on the trot. 38 points the difference. Thrashes it. Banfield gets the loose ball. Banfield won himself a free. Cuts the kick inboard. Kelly picks it up. Just got the hands in the back there. Looks to move it by foot. Easily takes the mark. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Hogan marks. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. A drop punt through the goals. Important kick here, and it goes through. Pretty happy with that one. We resume hostilities. Darcy thumps it clear. Thank There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Himmelberg, a long driving kick. Collected by Hill. Five comes away with the ball. Wins the race to the ball. Kelly launches towards goal. He's really turning it on now. Smiles all round. The Giants, 50. Lead Fremantle, 12. Guides it down. And now Kelly puts it into space. Conker just gets it onto the boot. Does well to cut off the kick. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top.
Hogan needs to deliver a goal with this chance. Drifts wide to go through for a behind. Fremantle produced the margin. Unsure of their next move. He gives chase to the footy. Finding the loose ball was Arcee. Releases by hand. Cox going for number two. Margin in a really tricky situation. Can't take the mark. He lays off the pass. Cox drives it at goal. Fremantle sent one home. He acknowledges the crowd. Fremantle now only trailed by 30. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game, putting his skills on display. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Moves the ball by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Drives it out of defensive 50. Green marks it. Works it across the ground. Marks now and can send it back. With a driving kick. Hogan gets on the end of this. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. A must kick goal here. Kicks long for goal and misses. Not many players can make it from that distance. Unable to take that chance. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Manages to get a hand to it. An opportunity for a third goal. Whitfield collects the loose ball. GWS Giants have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Whitfield looks to get onto the football. Just landed in his back. Drives the kick hard. Finds a target. Moves it by foot, taking a nice grab. Goes short by hand, hacking it out of there. Collier just gets a boot to it. It'll be a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. How did you see the second term, Gaz? GWS Giants have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at halftime. Cornelio on top of the ranking points. He is doing everything right. With so much on the line, I'm looking forward to this second half. The third quarter about to get underway. About to resume play. Jacobs won the hit out. Cornelio will be the recipient of the free. Cornelio has resources out wide. Taranto has resources out wide. Gathers it now. That tackle just too high. Ward elects to kick. Takes it well. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Demand now. This is Mundy finding the ball with ease. Movement by hand. Has it now. Going for goal number one. Touched over for a behind. The Dockers close the gap to 27. Davis searching for a teammate. Hogan had it, lost it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. Keeps it moving. Green has resources out wide. Marks all alone. Manufactures the handball. 
He can take off after that handball. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Takes that one strongly. He drives it. Finds a bit of room to mark. The ball spills to Kelly. He wins possession. He just can't get out of the action. Green gains possession. Finds the loose ball. He drives it towards goal. He's put that one through. A second goal in the bag. He celebrates hard after that. GWS Giants lead the Dockers by 33. Hammers it. Is in his possession. Hurried kick. Takes an uncontested mark. Moved on by Matera. Conquer with the mark. 50 metres out. This game is slowly slipping away. They must convert here. Conquer loves that goal. Fremantle behind by 27. He did really well there and gets the reward. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. GWS Giants have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the clearance. Banfield wins the ball in the air. Got boot to ball. Whitfield takes it well. Stands tall and marks. Five to have the shot from outside 50. Can he put it through? Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. He's excited about that one. Fremantle now only trailed by 21. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Fremantle can't getting their hands to the ball in the contest. The modern game is all about winning the hard ball, and they're not doing that today. Got their hands free. Gets a handball away. Takes possession. Caught with the intercept. He gains possession. With the ball is Sheridan. Releases the handball. Fights the good fight. Gets a hand in. Fife looking a bit sluggish out there. Oh, what a goal! He loved that one. Fremantle have kicked the last three goals. Fremantle close the gap to 15. Swats it. With the ball now. Brings it out of the pack. Getting pushed out of the way with Taranto. Slick with the hands. Blakely receives again. Has a man running for him. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Cornelio earns a free kick. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Looking to kick goal number two. The ball finds a man. Uses it by foot. Stands tall and marks. Kick by Wilson. Blakely marks uncontested. Good mark and looks to send it back. Gets it away. He's got the football now. Ends up with Cornelio. He delivers with a drop pass. They stretch their lead with that effort. They get around him after that effort. GWS Giants go for Fremantle by 21. Back in the middle now. Lob thumps it forward, trying to avoid everything out there. He gains possession, hands that ball to the opposition. Doing well to intercept that kick. Uses it now. Drops the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. 
Intercepted by Williams. Wants to keep it moving. Receives the handball and takes off. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Wilson keeps it moving. Putting on the bump was Ryan. Links with hands. Kicks out of the congestion. Matera going for number one. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. Celebrating hard. Fremantle bring it back to under three goals. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Jacobs clears the contest. Cornelio might have overworked himself there. The mark has been taken. He flicks it over. Practicing some fancy moves. Collier with the ball. Had plenty of the ball. A good mark under the circumstances. Fife uses it by foot. Nice work from Mundy. Mundy has resources out wide. A chance to reload the attack now. Sheridan kicks it. The ball ends up with Green. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores GWS Giants 62 to Fremantle 47. GWS Giants believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Plenty of scoring opportunities in the third term. It'll be interesting to see which team can capitalise in the final quarter. Let's check out the stats. Fremantle have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on two minutes. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Punches it clear. He wins possession. Lob with quick hands. Walters grabbed it clean. Now we've got a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Just put it on the boot. Walters goes for home. Suckers it through for a goal. Celebrating hard. Fremantle reduced the margin. Punched away. He's got the footy in his hands. Picked off by McCarthy with quick hands. Has it now. He gets another possession. Brilliant stuff. And he puts it through. He's enjoying that goal. Looking to keep within touch. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. The Dockers are struggling in front of goal today, and it's costing them. Bad kicking is bad football. Chera presents and takes the mark. Puts it on the boot. The ball rolls across the line. Ball tossed back in. Jacobs just swats it away. He gets his hands on the footy. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Clears the contest. Mundy there to mop up. Outstanding pressure. Quickly onto the boot. It's marked by Langdon. Elects to kick. Lloyd, it's in a good position. Has a runner alongside him. Unbelievable effort. And it ends with a goal. He's excited about that one. GWS Giants, but nine. About to resume hostilities. Jacob thrashes it, slams it onto the boot. Williams picks up the loose ball. Lob coming onto the ground. The umpire will ball it up. The game has tightened right up. Thump clear. Tabernacle will be the recipient of the free. for the goals hits the post and it's a minor Fremantle behind by eight Davis to bring it back into play takes a strong mark at full stride receives the handball ineffective handball 
wins the race to the ball. Taranto leaps over the top, slams it on the boot. Korg runs after the ball, does well to get it out. Doing well was Davis. Big thump from Jacobs. He has the ball. The kick from Fife. War dug out the loose ball. Spills the mark. Kelly failing to get near it, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Gets the loose ball. Gets the handball away. Hughes steals possession. Ball want? up in the centre square. Thumps it clear. Kelly scoops it up. Gets a quick kick away. Perryman got hands to it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Takes a simple grab. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. They get around him after that effort. GWS Giants doing well at the moment. Back with another set of bounce. Lob with the punch. Kelly on the ball. Almost cut it off. Hopper is having a stellar match. Yes, I know. He's a class act. Rushes with the kick. Collects the loose ball. Looks up with the kick. A lot of possessions for him. The drop pass goes straight between the big sticks. Green love kicking that one. 20 points the difference. He did really well there and gets the reward. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Fremantle have been poor with the ball inside 50. They're getting it in there enough, but they're not getting enough return from those chances. Doing well with the mark. Akers opts to play on. Taken well at ground level by Whitfield. Caught quickly out of the boot. Intercepts the ball well. GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. The distance might be just beyond him. Tabernacle with a low spearing kick. Scoops up the ball. Williams gets the ball. Williams won himself a free. Uses it now. Hill gathers it now. Going for goal number one. He makes that kick count. Full price. Smiles all round. Fremantle behind by 14. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Fremantle are trying to control the play on the outside, but they might be overusing the ball a bit at times. Playing more direct might help. Quickly onto the boot. Matera with an easy mark. He takes the shot. Open opportunity for Davis. Puts boot to ball. Found space for an easy mark. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Whitfield gets a quick kick away. Great mark in the pack. Ward drives the kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Chose to kick it. Ends up marking uncontested. Hill moves it now. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 45 metres out. Okay. Going for goal number one. Collier delivers with a straight drop pass. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one.
GWS Giants will be singing the team song loud and proud after today's big win. What were your thoughts on the match, Cass? One team will walk out pretty happy today, Hutto, and the other team will be disappointed at their missed chances. At the end of the game, GWS Giants over Fremantle, 80 to 72. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. It was great to be here, Hutto. I'll be back next time.